water each like Benny. Today we're going to be learning all about the water cycle. There are keywords we're learning, so make sure to note them down. Water can be found all over the world, oceans, land, and in the air or atmosphere. The water cycle is what we use to describe the path that water takes all around us. Did you know that most of the Earth's water can be found in the oceans? The rest can be found in lakes, rivers, streams, polar ice caps, snow, and also in the Earth's atmosphere. So what does this mean? It means that water can be found in all three states of matter, a solid, a liquid, and also a gas. This begs the question, how does water go from being solid ice like this into the ocean and then into the atmosphere? Well, that's where the water cycle comes in. Let's find out how the water cycle actually works. Let's begin here where most of the Earth's water can be found, in the oceans. As we know, the sun's heat can cause things like glaciers and snow to melt into liquid water. This water then goes into oceans, lakes and streams. How does that water then get into the atmosphere? Well, that's where evaporation comes in. Heat from the sun causes water in the oceans to evaporate. Evaporation occurs when liquid water on the Earth turns into water vapour in our atmosphere. This is when a liquid turns into a gas. Water from plants and trees can also enter the atmosphere. This is a process called transpiration. Now that the warm water vapour rises up, up, up and up into the Earth's atmosphere, it goes higher and higher. The cool air of the atmosphere causes the water vapour to turn back into liquid water. This in turn creates something called a cloud. This part of the water cycle is called condensation. When a cloud becomes full of liquid water, it falls back from the sky into the earth as rain or as snow, and that is called precipitation. Rain and snow then fill up the lakes and the streams, which carry themselves back to the ocean. And this is where the cycle continues on again, just like the wheels on a bicycle. Now that you've learned all about the water cycle, can you recall what actually happens? Use the keywords on the screen to help you.